The Menus section of Lighthouse PMS allows you to create, edit, and maintain your POS menu remotely, meaning that any changes you make within Lighthouse will reflect on the POS. Let's take a look at each of the different tabs within the menu section. The first tab contains your menu items. You can select Add Item to create a new item, or select an existing item to make changes to it. Either choice will present the same options. In the General section, you can toggle whether an item is active or not. Below that, you can set the item name, price, cost, department, and revenue class. Keep in mind that fields marked with an asterisk are required. If you like, you can also mark the item as a favorite or attach any relevant tags to it. The Advanced section allows you to set an alternate kitchen print name, default quantity, which is the quantity that is automatically added to the ticket when the item is selected, and an item description. You can also enable Open Items, which will prompt for the item price when ordered. This may be useful for items such as seafood or other items that are sold by market price. Special Request will display the Special Request screen on the right when the item is added to the ticket. You should not need to make any changes to the accounting section, as any applicable taxes will be applied when the revenue class is assigned. The Tracking section contains options related to inventory tracking. In the next section, you can assign any relevant modifier sets to the item, and below that you can choose where the item should print to when ordered. Online ordering controls alterations that will be made to an item when ordered online. If the existing item name is not descriptive enough for a customer browsing the online menu, you can set an alternate name here. An alternate price and description can also be set and an image representing the item can be uploaded as well. Note that you will use the online ordering section of Lighthouse to design and manage your online menu. You can view the Lighthouse online ordering video for details. Price schedules allows you to assign the item to any relevant price schedules that have been configured, as well as set the price difference during that time range. As always, select Save to commit your changes. Next, we'll move on to Departments. You can select Add Department to create a new department or select an existing department to make changes to it. From here, you can set the department name, add or modify items within the department, or customize online ordering options. Next step is the Modifiers section. Add a modifier or edit an existing one to view its properties. From here, you can set the name and print options, assign to an appropriate modifier set, configure nested modifiers, printers, and online ordering options. Note that you should not need to select a printer for modifiers, as this may lead to duplicate prints. In the Modifier Sets section, you can create a new set or edit an existing one to view its properties. You can begin by setting the name, price, and print options of the modifier set, as well as configure whether the set is required, whether it will display until manually dismissed, or whether it allows multiple selections. Next, you can add the appropriate modifiers to the set. or assign it to the menu items that will use it. Options to customize the set for online ordering are available as well. The next section allows you to configure your order types. Add a new order type or edit an existing one to view its properties. You can change the name, assign a section layout for dine-in types, and set other options like allowing or requiring a customer assignment for tickets created with this order type. 
In the online ordering section below, you can set an alternate online name for the order type, minimum and maximum order amounts, delivery distance, and order lead time, which is the amount of time before the order is received by the software. Next, you have options to enable deferred orders, allowing guests to place advance orders, and options to enable print, email, and SMS notifications for the order. You can also select what days the order type will be available for online ordering. The final section, Scheduled Pricing, allows you to configure new or existing price schedules within your system. You can set the name of the scheduled pricing group, select the days of the week it will apply to, then set the time range. You can also select Add Schedule to add additional coverage within a scheduled pricing group.